Yeah, hi. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, uh, I don't know, it's not late night, but it's whatever. I don't know what, what the fuck it is, you know, this is fucking, whatever. It is time for your WWE Super Showdown review. Um, a lot of shit tonight, well, for, for starters, I didn't really watch it live, because uh, what happened... It actually felt, I actually wasn't all up. It was fucking 5 to 10 in the morning. And then, like, yeah, I, I know, I, I, I'm, like, known as a guy who actually, like, stay up around 5 and whatever. But what happened is that I actually, like, before I did my fucking unbag and unbox and whatever fuck for my W2K19 video, I actually fell asleep. And then I woke up around 12, so, uh, 12 something in the afternoon. And then, ever, ever since, that's when I actually started putting on the fucking... Yeah, I put on the fucking Super Showdown, so. So I missed it, and then, yeah, so, but now I, um, I watched it, I watched it, I did a live show, so yeah, yeah, uh, you know, but to be honest with you, yeah, again, like I expected, was not impressed, was not impressed with the entire show in general, except the main event, obviously. So yeah. Well, yeah, before we start, like, yeah, you know, let's celebrate because of the main event. Let's celebrate, you know. Let's celebrate with this shit. So, you know. Oh, shit, oh, shit, fuck, yeah. Cheers, you motherfuckers, cheers. Yeah. It's like fine wine. Just like that match was fine wine, you know. This shit makes me get, gets me ready to fuck bitches to be black couch and make them go, oh, shit, oh, shit, fuck, yeah, you know. Fuck yeah, make me go, like, this is why I love this, I love this, you know? Nothing could go wrong with just this, like, make them go, oh shit, oh shit, fuck yeah, you know? Like, fucking, fucking bitches to beat black couch and shit, watching some good old wrestling, actual good old wrestling, you know, and drinking this, you know? It's good stuff. Alright, so let's see what happened. So, like I said, I was not impressed with the undercard or something. Yeah. First match. The New Day defeated uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. I didn't give a shit. Literally what I did, I fast forward through some of the matches. And this was one of the matches I fast forward through because I didn't give a shit. And plus we've already seen this match multiple times, so who cares. Second match. Uh, fucking Charlotte uh, defeated fucking Tranny Lynch by fucking disqualification. Angle fuck these bitches in Big Black Couch. These are not fucking bitches. These are She-Hawks. And I'm not fucking them in my Big Black Couch. I'm not gonna make them go... These are bitches that are not hot smart. Love a trap queen, you know? Make them go, oh shit, oh shit, fuck yeah, you know? You know what I'm saying, man? I got standards, man. I'm not fucking She-Hawks. Not fucking bitches with clip dicks, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah. Um... Yeah, these matches were not too long, I don't know, like, other than, like, let's say the W title match and fucking, uh, the main event, those match, like, they were, like, 20, like, 20 minutes. The other match was, like, 5 to 10 minutes, and they, who cares? But the thing is, like, what, I don't know, the show was, like, still 5 hours or something? I don't fucking know. Um, what I remember is, like, 4 hours and 39 minutes or something, so it's like, close to 5 hours. And the people who are complaining, oh, why is there so many, why is, like, so long that's because because you guys want longer matches these like go oh, 45 minutes long matches because you love those and you guys want five star matches and shit that's why that's why this show is so long it doesn't help when the, yeah the show is like too many matches but you know yeah third match Bobby Lashley John Cena defeated Elias and Kevin Owens um yeah you know, of course, it's great to see Cena. You know, like, you're the champ, John Cena, you know? And when I came out, I, I, I when he came out, I put my hand in my car, I said, John Cena, and then, like, fucking, you know, gotten crazy and shit, you know? Because I like, you know, when I was a kid, I actually, you know, I ain't gonna lie, you know, fan and shit. But then, you know, I grew up, and then I fucking, like, what the fuck was I thinking? It was goofy. But you know what? That Cena's thing, at least with Cena, he has a character other than these fucking jobbers in wrestling, for fuck's sake, you know? But what makes me want to hate Cena again, it was what happened in the match. Okay, so for starters, the match was like, I don't know. The match was like, uh, it was just mostly Bobby Lashley and shit. 
uh, and I don't care. Any, I didn't care. And then when Cena came, he came in the match. He was uh, <coughs> <coughs> he did his five moves of doom. But now apparently, yeah, he has a six move of doom now. So which ruins his fucking, you know, his fucking attitude adjustment finisher. Or fuck his fu. It ruins his fu because after that, at Elias gets up, and then fucking. Literally, Cena hulks up, and then fucking does a stupid punch. Are you fucking kidding me? A fucking punch! A fucking punch! And that's his finisher now? The sixth move of Doom? So that just ruins his fucking fin uh, his, his AA more. That ruins his fucking fin FU and shit, you know? Great. Just fucking great. Yeah, that just ruins his fucking finisher. They're like, oh, like, what, really? That's the fucking move? I don't give it. Oh, 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 After that, he cut like a promo saying, I'm gonna live for the now or something. I don't know. You know some usual Cena promo, but yeah, it's cool. You know, whatever. That's Cena. What I didn't like is that, like, after that, there was like a promo. I got glazed in the, in the TV, like, oh, dang, damn. There's a bitch with an ass. And uh, there's, there's someone wearing leather pants, and she got an ass. And I was full to think it was of like, some disgusting. Black predator named Naomi. So like, no, I lost my heart on because like for fuck's sake, no, there are a few hot. No, don't get me wrong. There are a few hot chicks who are black. Naomi's not one of them. I'm not fucking under my big black couch, ladies and gentlemen. Not gonna. But I will fuck the iconic. It's a fourth match. The iconics defeat Naomi and Oscar. I'm so happy. So that's good stuff. Fifth match, AJ Styles defeated Samoa Joe by submission and also no occasion. No countout match. So yeah, notice because they have to say no countout, no disqualifications. Why can't you just say no disqualifications? Oh, this is no countout. I don't care. This match was really boring, to be honest with you. Even though it's no disqualifications, it was boring, to be honest with you. Like nothing really happened, just the usual match and shit with with that happened. Oh, oh, a chair shot to the back and back in the uh, stomach. Oh, a few chair shots and a table spot. Oh, I remember the table spot was kind of lazy. Just fucking Styles, you know, he just threw Joe through the table. That's it. Pretty much fat and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, he ends with submission. That's it. I don't even really care. Match was boring. Like I don't hate Styles, but for fuck's sake, like he he is kind of he is overrated, especially like. Like what? Like you know, literally the only matches like I remember that that were really good, if if I remember, it was just with fucking Cena. <laughs> that's really it. It's all Cena to rest, but you know, like that's really like honestly, that was like the last match. Like sure, there were a few match. I don't know, but this match was really boring. Okay, it was really fucking boring. Um, yeah, and he is overrated. Just look, uh, just especially like my fucking smarts. The fact that literally, I, like. I don't know if you guys know this, but like, I will do a special video about fucking SmackDown 1000 or something. Like, there's a list now from WWE, like, top 15 stu superstars of, of, of SmackDown for like the 1000 episode. They're doing, it does that. And like, what's real retarded is that fucking style is like, fucking his ranking is really fucking retarded, but you know. Six match. The Bell Twins and fucking Ronda Rousey defeated the Riot Squad. I'll fuck, I'll fuck Ronda and the Bell Twins, my big black couch, make them go, oh shit, oh shit, but I'm not fucking uh, the Riot Squad. No, thank you. You ain't gonna ride on my cock. Seven match. Buddy Murphy defeated Cedric Alexander for the Cruiserweight title. Literally, there were fucking sparks that saying this is the best match of the night, even though. This match was a cruiserweight match, and no one knows who the fuck they are. These are two, these are just two generic wrestlers wrestling. That's it. 
No one knows who the fuck Buddy Murphy is. No one cares who fucking Sergio Alexander is. Why? 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 And why are people saying that this is like match tonight? I'm seeing like NoDQ.com. This is rated as the best match. Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Like, it's really fucking retarded. Like, what? Just because they did flippy shit, then that, that's what makes the match good? Like, give me a fucking break. It's whatever. Eight match. The Shield. The VS Braun Showman Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre, aka oh, the, the Dogs of War. That's just, just such a gay name, especially for these two. Uh, the fucking the people who are in there, like Drew McIntyre and uh, fucking Dolph Ziggler. Only like, I didn't really care for the match, honestly. You know, as much as I'm happy the Shield were together, and they did, you know, they, they were had their entrance and shit. Um, the match was not good, to be honest with you. I didn't really care about the match. All I remember is like fucking, fucking. Roman Reigns did his usual spear to the announce table. Not the, the, yeah, to the fucking barricade. And fucking Dean Ambrose didn't turn heel. All I know is like, yeah. And yeah, there were a bunch of super kicks. Super kick. You know? Like, who fucking cares? Um, and plus, how can you respect a match as good with Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre for Fox State Dolph? Like, really? How would the match as good, good? Like, no, no one's gonna care. Uh, so yeah. That happened. And now you're like a shield power bomb through a table or something, but uh, whatever, I don't care. The ninth match, Daniel Bryan defeated Miz in two minutes. And it's like a number one competitor for the title. Um, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't care. I just fast, uh, yeah, I just fast, this is one of the matches I fast forward through along with other stupid matches. This match was like two minutes and then I had to like go back, wow, the, uh, wow, there's, I still stand on the match and shit. Because I was fast forward and I see like a promo. So the match ended like two minutes because apparently controversial was something controversial. The controversial ending like referee, Miz thought he beat Brian, but then fucking the referee, I don't know, but then uh, and Brian did like a roll up and then referee counted to three, but Miz thought it was two or something. It was controversial, no one cares. So yeah, I don't care. Now, the main event, ladies and gentlemen. And boy, what I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this main event, really fucking amazing. First of all, she can't uh, fuck Renee on commentary. She's such a fucking annoying ass cunt. Like I'll fuck her in a big black couch. I'll make her go, oh shit, oh shit. But for fuck's sake, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like holy hell. Like why she ruined the moment? Like she keeps ruining moments. Like what the fuck? Can the bitch shut the fuck up? Stop with the fucking woman on commentary and stop this bitch being on commentary. If they want to be on commentary, if you want to have the women on commentary, have them commentate for women's matches, not fucking fucking men matches. Like, where the fuck was JR and fucking Jerry Lawler? They shouldn't have been there. They should have been there. If they wanted to do three-man commentary, add Cole or something. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, no pyro entrance for, uh, for Shawn Michaels and Kane. That sucks, but, you know. So whatever. And also about Undertaker. Why the fuck when Undertaker entered the ring, he literally just took off his jacket first. Now he took out his fucking Hacker's Den jacket. If you know that was never the thing, you know. I know I, I know it sounds gay or stupid and stupid. Like oh why why is he like because I'm it's like kind of like fast niece or something. But for fuck's sakes, before Undertaker would take off his jacket first, then hat. But now, because what is it? Because of fucking WWE games like fucking Two K Nineteen, he take his hat first and then jacket. Like seriously, like it's been that like that since two thousand six. Like they had they they kick off his hat first before our, like for Fox sakes, like please get, like I know I care about the details. Can we just have fucking take or take a jack off then his fucking hat for Fox sakes? That's what it used to be back in the day for Fox. It's just saying, care about the details, and yeah, not just that fucking you know and have that animation two K nineteen or fuck not two K like fucking future games. It's been like that since 2006, you know? It's really retarded. Uh, but whatever. That's like a, that's out of the way, you know? It's like, no one cares. It's like the least, like, but I not care about details. 
But then, what was pretty cool, um, the coolest thing also, um, yeah, there was a surprise stipulation in this match. And it's, it was announced it was going to be no disqualifications. So, yeah. I was really, that was like, wow, you know, I, I was very happy. Okay, if you want to know my fucking reaction to this fucking match, I did a live show on my live channel uh, where I did a live reaction. Uh, if you watch like that last hour or something, I was really like, I was really like, this was, this match was amazing. This was amazing. It was, it, rem it was not just to remind a nostalgia purpose, but it was just, it was wrestling. It brought me back, man. It brought me back. It's fucking awesome. All I have to say is fucking awesome. When the, even when the match started in two minutes, when they were do, oh, Triple H and Taker, when they, even when the match started in two minutes, uh, nothing happened, but it was already fucking awesome. Like, seriously, it was amazing. Just them being in the ring together, along with fucking have Kane and Shawn Michaels there. Like, what else can bear that? And those provocations? I love that they fucking surprised us with a those provocation match stipulation. That's fucking great. That's what we lack in wrestling. We need stipulations, uh, fucking, I don't know. We need, like, more of that, like, surprises. Surprise stipulations. Like, what else can you get better than that? Maybe, like, a referee, like, Stone Cold as a referee or something. But, you know, that's that maybe asking too much, but it's whatever. Oh, Taker's old and gas. Who fucking cares for Fox Space, you know? Who fucking cares? You know? He's a fucking legend. Like, they both Taker and Triple H are legends, and you're complaining about all... Like, for fuck's sake, like, what? You guys want all these stupid... Or like, who cares? Like, what makes this fucking awesome is just that two... Like, it's two larger-life characters, two legends, who are larger-life characters, having a... St that have a story, and a wrestling. It's fucking amazing, you know? What makes this match fucking special other than all these other matches in wrestling now? Because they're, yeah, two legends, but they are wrestling and have a story! And there's a story for fuck's sakes! That's why people care. I care about the outcome. Well, it's not, at least it's like, you know, I, I, like, I didn't really care, like, of course, because I'm, I'm happy your Triple H and Taker wins, but for fuck's sakes, I cared about who's going to win this shit. But for fuck's sakes, it's, of course, like, it'll be stupid if, let's say, Fucking Taker versus Cena and Balor. Of course, I want Taker to win because you know it's gonna make it makes it better. It's just better, you know. But you actually care. I cared about the outcome. That's what makes it good, you know. Two large and life like characters having a match with a story, and that's good. Literally, people said this match sucked. By the way, you know. Like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Like, seriously? Like, you guys want your stupid indie wrestlers made a fenting, right? Is that, is that the case? Like, seriously? Is that what you guys are like? Oh, a bunch of park tarbers hogging a spotlight. Who cares? They're fucking legends, you know? It's awesome. And they are stealing the show. They have stealed the show, by the way. Because the match was really fucking awesome. Just like watching it for fuck's sake. It was. It really was for fuck's sake. Just make ticking the time. It fucking was. It was great. I loved it. And you know what? Like, fucking Triple E is right, like, for fuck's sake. What he was talking about in his promo, like, the night after SummerSlam. Like, how, oh, you know, their era was special. Of course! Fucking the Attitude will forever be better than this fucking crap. It will be, uh, uh, fucking Ruthless Aggression will, will be ever better than this fucking era. The new generation, the golden era. Those eras will always be better because they had fucking, cause fucking great wrestlers like fucking Undertaker and Triple H. It is what it is, people, okay? This era go fucking ain't shit. This era fucking sucks. It's not just because of the writing. It's because also the wrestlers sucks. The wrestlers nowadays ain't nothing compared. First of all, like, you know, like, sure, it's about the writing, but what can you really do with these fucking wrestlers from the Indies? Well, first of all, there's a reason, there a reason why they're called indie wrestlers, Okay? Cause they, no one fucking cares about indie wrestling. No one cares. No one cares. And yeah, oh, backyard wrestling, garage wrestling. These the wrestlers nowadays do deserve to be in a fucking garage. Cause no one fucking cares. No one's watching. Okay. This is why ratings aren't the ones. This is why fucking wrestling nowadays have low ratings. This is Raw, for example. 
Because no one fucking cares about the wrestlers that are on TV, okay? That are on nowadays. This is why people are not watching anymore. It's not because of change of television. Like, if that's really the case, then how come shows like The Walking Dead? I don't watch The Walking Dead. But how come shows like that get bigger ratings than ever? Than WWE's dream of, for fuck's sake. They still do. It's not because TV is changing. It's because that fucking wrestling has become. It's garbage. Okay? It's fucking garbage. So, you know, like, yeah, that's really the case, really. You know? You take, like... <coughs> and yeah, like people literally say, "Oh, Buddy Murphy versus fucking Seth." Get the fuck out of here! Like, give me a break with this bullshit. That's why I saw on fucking ODUEQ.com. Like, God Almighty! Oh, are there, Oh, I I hate seeing all these old old men have taking bumps. But you guys care about Finn Balor? You guys don't care that Finn Balor taking bumps and crap? You would rather like see take Bal Finn Balor takes bumps off the ass or something? But you won't like to see fucking two actual legends having a match? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, they should retire. Well, if they want to retire, then let them. They they will retire for fuck's sake. Let's just enjoy. Like for fuck's sake. Like, listen, I know, I understand y'all tear short retiring crap. I understand that what well, that's the case sometimes. But for fuck's sakes, if Tate wants to wrestle, let him wrestle. You know, and I'll, I'll enjoy. And of course, I will enjoy because it's fucking Taker. I want to enjoy the moment until it's until he's really sadly gone. Cause it's fucking great. You know, especially amazing things like this. If he could still put on good matches, he should, this match was fucking amazing. Just fuck off. So this match was really fucking amazing. This was like a combination. This match was a mix of the of Taker and Triple H's past three WrestleManias matches. The brawling in the back, uh, the brawling through the fucking uh, crowd from WrestleMania 17, the weapons from fucking WrestleMania 27, and the emotional fucking uh, encounter in WrestleMania 28. It was like a combination of those three. Really fucking amazing. I loved it. I fucking loved it. Um, cool, cool moment. Taker had a chair. Triple H had a sledgehammer. Kind of reminiscent of WrestleMania 20, 31 with take with fucking Sting and Sting and fucking Triple H. What was cool? There was kind of a ch little chair shot to the head where fucking the chair bounced off after fucking Triple H used a sledgehammer to block the to block the chair shot to the head where ch where the chair bounced on Taker the Taker. So kind of a chair shot, you know? Pretty cool. Um, yeah. You know, you expect false finishes, but this was, this match ended, earned false finishes for Fox 6. It earned it, because there was a, you know, because people care. I care. You know? It was great. Um, Kane and Shawn Michaels kept being involved, you know, it was good. It was good in seeing that. Um, yeah. It ends with fucking, the, the fucking D, uh, DX combo. Literally, I, when the DX combo happened at WrestleMania 28, I literally thought that was the end of the end of the WrestleMania streak. Fucking take her, you know, sweet chin music, then pedigree. Um, I thought that was gonna end, that was gonna fucking you know take her school end, but then that shocked me when Taker kicked out. So first of all, so yeah, Taker was gonna do the pedigree to Triple H again, then super kick. Then, uh, fucking, another super kick by fucking Shawn Michaels, sweet chin music, again, fucking, I hate that the fucking super kick keeps getting ruined, uh, by fucking Young Bucks and crap, at least that's his real super kick, you know, by a real wrestler, because he made it his finisher, and then, yeah, pedigree, so the DX Tombo, no kick out, Undertaker win, uh, no, Undertaker wins, not fucking Triple H wins, so yeah, Triple H defeats Undertaker, so, yeah, the last time ever, and it's the last, so, and yeah, Triple H has to get the last lap in a way, you know, so yeah, I understand. Yeah, that kind of take key to take that advantage of. Yeah, I understand. Oh, he has ego. Oh, oh, she's married to a boss's wife, and yeah, that's like why he wants because he wants to take steps. I don't know, but it's Triple H. Triple H rules as a wrestler, as a fucking booker. Fuck Triple H in NXT because he sucks and he's responsible for all the stupid shit in wrestling. But as a wrestler, fuck yeah, Triple H rules. But yeah, this match was amazing. Really amazing. It, if you saw the fucking live show, I got emotionally invested to it. I enjoyed it. Brought me back. I even cried. This is a match that makes me cry. Not Bailey versus Sasha Banks, okay? Are right, you hearing me, Godzilla Hawk? I don't hate you, but for fuck's sake, Godzilla Hawk, Bailey versus Sasha Banks made me fucking cry. Well, guess what? This fucking match made me fucking cry because this is two legends that had a story wrestled for fuck's sakes. 
They were. This was a real wrestling match, for fuck's sakes. This is wrestling. All right. And then they showed their respect to each other. Fucking Kane and Undertaker and DX. Really amazing. Amazing that they showed respect to each other. Really good. I, I loved it. It was just emotional. I loved it. Um, yeah. And then... Freaking Undertaker. I, okay, like, Triple H is supposed to be the heel. But for fuck's sakes, Undertaker... Turns on fucking Triple H and Shawn Michaels along with fucking Kane. They both turned heel. Or no way, I don't know. Turn heel, turn on, I don't fucking know. Triple H supposed to be a heel. I don't know. But double turn, I don't fucking know. But for fuck's sake, Undertaker and Kane turns on DX. Fucking Triple H got to some by Undertaker. And then fucking chokes them through the tape. Got now saved up by fucking Taker. Oh my. Amazing. Fucking amazing. And I was like, wow, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I did not expect that happening. Uh, I don't know, in a way, I was kind of like, because, you know, it makes sense because of what happened back in, well, I don't know, like, maybe take her turn heel or something. But, like, for fuck's sakes, it was cool. <laughs> it was like, it was fucking cool. I loved it. I'd heel take her? Sure. I'll take it, man. So I loved it. And then they walk off. Kanye and take her walk off, you know? It's kind of, and what's funny, yeah. It's reminiscent to fucking... I just want to check the time. It's reminiscent. This this match was reminiscent to fucking... 21 years ago. Like, yeah, if memory serves me right. Taker, Shawn Michaels, Hell in a Cell match. Kane being... Kane debuting. It's funny how... Oh, he was Triple H in a way. Yeah, Triple H because he was managing fucking... You know, it was DX. So like, fucking Triple H managing Shawn Michaels. Yeah, in a way, it's funny, 21 years later, because this was a Kane's debut in a way, uh, this was like 21 years since Kane's debut and the uh, fucking hell, first Hell in a Cell match, it's amazing, like, all four of them, there wrestling, and they were interacting with each other, it's fucking cool, you know? So, yeah, overall, I love, I love the main event, main event is always gonna be, it, it's the best match of the decade, match of the decade. Match of the year. I don't see any fucking match that's fucking better than this. Oh, Machatu versus Kayetawata. What the fuck? Or fucking Masawa. I don't fucking care. I'm glad Masawa's dead. Fuck him. Alright? Uh, fuck New Japan. Oh, oh, fuck it. Like, whatever. Some stupid fuck. Fuck me long time match. I don't fucking care. This match is better. Uh, this match is match of the year. Match of the decade. Match of the night, indeed. So, yeah. Super Showdown wasn't a good show, but that main event. It was a match, one match show. So thank you, fucking Taker and Triple H for entertaining me and gave gave me back. You know, fucking made me enjoy that match. Thank you, God bless Taker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Kane. God bless and everyone including that match. God bless y'all. Yeah, so that was a great main event. Great main event, but not good show. But you know, but yeah, that just really saved the show in a way. That that match was really good to the point, like amazing. That's just really good, awesome, and amazing. That match was really amazing, in my opinion. That saved the show to make it, uh, in a way. I don't know, but it was really a match, one match show if you think about it. But yeah, so yeah, shows suck in general. But without the fucking main event, it would have been so so bad. But this match was really. The match saved the show. Really good. Fucking great main event. Fucking great main event. God bless Taker and Triple H. God bless that main event. God bless. Really. For, for real. That's match of the year. No doubt about it. No see anything fucking top of with this shitty roster. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Got the, got the big muscles. Got the big abs. Got big black couch. The fuck the bitch mouth couch. And drink this now gone soda. Drink soda wine glass. So magnificently. What can you get better than that? Fucking watching that match. And with Sona Wine last. Well, well, life doesn't get better right there. Along with fucking bitch with a big black couch. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna say. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.